But we do begin here tonight with the travel rush as spring break kicks off. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to ABC Action News at 5. I'm Paula Grohl. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. It's been a while since almost every student in the Bay Area was off for spring break. And we know many of you may have some plans to travel over the next week. So ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell joining us live from Tampa International Airport with what you need to know. Mary? Well, leave early. That's the biggest piece of advice from families who have already seen traffic on the roads and long lines at the airport as they try to kick off their spring break without a hitch. The plans are set, travel docs in hand, and it's time to go. The Melton family planned for about a year for their trip to Costa Rica. It was all about my wife doing everything here. She has made all the plans. But the trip hasn't been without some slowdowns. Just coming up from Bradenton, it was just uh, crazy. Stop and go all the way. Tampa International Airport just began its official spring break season. In fact, this spring break at Tampa International is expected to be its busiest on record, according to the airport with a daily average of 76,000 passengers passing through the airport compared to 60,000 on a more typical day. Come early. Check in early. We came three hours ahead and I'm so glad we did. Many families also choosing the open road rather than the friendly skies. Friday's AAA Florida average for gas is about $3.30. AAA reported earlier this week the state average has gone down 12 cents within the past 10 days. We're going to get as much sun as possible. Aaron and Cassidy Callahan flew in for a mother-daughter trip from Minneapolis. They rented a car and have hit some traffic during their stay. We are visiting a friend that's in um, kind of the downtown Tampa area and driving her back from Sand Key Beach to her school took, what, an hour and a half, I yeah. think? To save on gas, AAA suggests paying with cash and driving conservatively, explaining that aggressively accelerating and speeding reduces fuel economy. Families taking in the sun, sand, and skies as they hope to make this the best spring break yet. Now, if you're coming to the airport, a couple of tips. Tampa International has express curbsides for people who have carry-on luggage only. That'll help you get past the ticketing and baggage claim levels and get you to your gate a little bit quicker. And also, if you plan to park, the staff here suggests that you go online and plan ahead and go book your spots online in advance. Live at Tampa International, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News. Early as always, better, Mary.